Hey there, welcome to a redstone tutorial. My name is Zagoran Ragan and I'm going to be teaching you how to make a 1x1 one one piston trap door. Now this thing is utterly insane. Let me just show you guys. So if I open this and press the button, look, it opens up and then it closes by itself. How epic is that? So if you stick around, you'll be building this in today's video. So the items you're going to need for this contraption are on the screen right now. And once you finish reading them, we'll get on to the video. Okay, so to start the tutorial off, let's find a spot where you want this contraption to be. I'm thinking around here, so I'm going to dig down one, two, three, four. Four blocks and miss one block. Hit this one, destroy this one. Um, destroy one up, destroy two down. And you should have something that looks like this. Mine across seven more blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then one, two, three. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So now you should have a rectangle basin that is 4 in width and 8 in length. Now you can destroy the middle bits like so and your hole should be around here. One block from the top, two blocks from the bottom and two blocks from the right. And then you're going to dig this down two more blocks. So once you finish the overall depth of this basin should be three blocks. Right, okay. So now you're going to dig down a bit more of your hole and you're going to place down two pistons like this and one piston on top and then you're going to go ahead and place an observer like this and then one like this now these two observers are going to help this piston move up and down really quickly and so it helps with the concealment of this contraption next you're going to place down your chosen block here and then a resident torch and another one over here and you should have two pistons extended I'm pushing this block into these two observers. Now you're going to place down a sticky piston again facing into this observer like so and you're going to make a line of redstone dust over here and you're going to place down a comparator facing into the redstone torch block and one facing away on the other side. Place two redstone dust, one here, one here and one here and then here you're going to place down a redstone repeater and then you're going to carry on to this piston right here. So this is the pulse extender, it's going to allow a 5 second delay to this contraption to allow you to go in and out in time before it closes. And then finally, you're going to replace this with a 2 tick pulse redstone repeater. And guys, this is it! How simple was that? So now we're going to make the button for this contraption, so you're going to build up 3, delete these 2, observer there, block there, and you should be done. If I do this. As you can see, the contraption is starting to work. Now the final thing is to place a temporary block and then your chosen block on top and you should be good to go. Now if I place down your torch, as you can see it works perfectly fine. Look at that, absolutely amazing. Now of course this button doesn't have to be here, it can be anywhere you want as long as it connects to this redstone dust right here. So for example I could have it like here and I could have a wooden block on top and have a stone button on top like this and it will still work as normal. Or you could use the observe method and do this. Okay, so now you've completed the piston door. So now once you've completed your piston door, you can block it up and conceal this contraption in the other components on top like this. And there we have it. We have our contraption working. You can also kind of block up this bit if you wanted to, to conceal a bit more. And yeah, we have the contraption sorted. Now one thing I want to say is that this is only a one way system, you can only go one way through this and you can't come back up unless you add some sort of fancy mechanic to bring you back up but other than that you have to make sure you have another way to get out otherwise you're stuck down there. So I would only recommend this contraption if you want an easy escape route out of your house or you can use it if you have anything valuable and you have an insured other way out. For example down here underneath your contraption you could have a storage area with a piston door built into this wall leading outside or you could just have an escape route and I'm actually proud to say this is my own creation yep this contraption is made fully by me and it's certified by me so I hope this goes well in your world if you have any questions guys please do leave them in the comments below I'll be most happy to help and be sure to drop a like if you think this is a good contraption and if you like this channel be sure to comment and subscribe that'll be greatly appreciated and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, guys, Lotion Herman, good night.